when I talked about those small group options, this is a, a quick snapshot of how I would plan it for my class um, or for my day in that class. When you're planning these groups, remember you can be flexible. You can use the homework from the day before to pull a group that maybe missed a question. You can use home links or um, something else that you had done a couple of days previous and exit ticket. You can be flexible with these groups, but every student gets the opportunity to do a lot of these activities. So in my classroom, what I would do, and I know that a lot of teachers do something similar to this, is I gave options. So I would assign them because my kids couldn't do it unless I assigned them. <laughs> so me personally, I would assign them specific groups. Eventually they were able to choose. But these are some of the choices that they could do. They could do teacher table. Of course, that's with me. They could do math boxes, sometimes with a partner, sometimes on their own, sometimes with an instructional assistant. The activity cards, those activity card games are so fun for the kids and they love them. Every lesson has an activity card in it for you to use that goes along with the lesson. The directions are on there for the kids to do. They can read the directions and play it that way. Every day of the math games, those are online or the paper pencil ones are perfectly fine as well. The online ones are awesome because it does have different levels for some of the questions. You'll learn about that later in the presentation. So using those everyday math games is important. Um, math fact practice. So using flashcards, literally give them flashcards and have them challenge each other. Using a math fact website. Sometimes our kids just aren't good at the facts. So using the, the website that we are going to be using this year is going to be very helpful for that. Everyday math does offer some fact practice. Um, but sometimes the kids need a little bit of a change besides always going to use everyday math. I'm also going to talk about the next slide on here. It does give you a little bit more of the ideas as far as other things that you could do. You could do reflex. You could do um, enrichment activities with those higher kiddos. They can play partner games, home links, etc. So just a few more ideas for you to do during that small group time.